people furious when they see nasty difference between Melania costume and Michelle. As always, everything has to be a double standard with the American left and its minions. With Halloween 2017 less than a month away, we are now officially in offensive Halloween costume season mode. And what that means is that every few weeks we can expect the internet and social media to give us yet another offensive Halloween costume to gawk at. In late September, it was pregnant Kylie Jenner. Before that, it was sexy fake news and sexy border patrol agents. But this time, our first lady Melania Trump is being used to promote slutty Halloween costumes. This costume is not called slutty Melania Trump because that would be a step too far in the eyes of every, even the liberals, although they have called her even worse things. Instead, it's being coined model wife with the costume itself, a very obvious and close replica of the sky blue cashmere dress and jacket by Ralph Lauren that Melania Trump wore to the inauguration day, but with a slutty twist, of course. Hello, meet again on our showbiz gossip video. Oh, Jesus Christ. the idea here. And there you have it. This is America. In America, you can do and say what you please. You can go as far as selling costumes of our leaders. But here is the problem I have with this costume. Where was the costume disparaging First Lady Michelle Obama? There was none because the left would have been yelling bloody racism over it. It's okay to laugh at an immigrant late first lady, but not at a black first lady who was never proud of her country until she saw the opportunity to have endless lavish vacations at the expense uh, of us, the overburdened taxpayer. Halloween idea, the Obamas. Well, that's really thrilling. The left applauded Michelle Obama's so-called fashion sense. Tweet sued and Michael Kors, the state of style, pretty powerful Michelle Obama. Okay, when Dan Lawson sat down to watch Tuesday night's State of the Union address, he expected talk of econ economic policy and unemployment figures. Instead, he got a big dose of deja vu. I was watching the speech, and when Michelle Obama came walking out, my first thought was, wow, she looks great. She always looks great, he says. Then I realized, oh, that's a Michael Kors suit. Wait a minute. I really know that Michael Kors suit. We used it on the show. Lawson, the longtime costume designer for CBS, hit drama, the good wife had in fact dressed the show's star, Julian Margulis, in the same tweed Michael Kors suit jacket for the 100th episode of the show back in December 2013. This suit immediately brings the attention to the wearer's face, says Lawson, who also thought it was a perfect fit for the First Lady. The suit has one foot in the classic and one foot in the modern, and Michelle looked really great in it, if you think so. Twitter quickly picked up on the double take with side-by-side -side photos of the First Lady and Marga uh, Margulis, or whatever her name is, lawyer Alicia Florick, spread across the internet. It was hard not to wonder 
was the First Lady really inspired by a popular fictional TV character? Well, it goes on and on and on. So let's get to the juice of the matter because this is just, you know. It would have been great to see a costume of Michelle Obama wearing one of her many ridiculous outfits while she removed tasty food away from our kids while stuffing herself with lavish plates of tasty and fattening food herself. And while we're at it, why not Hillary Clinton costume with a built-in broom? Please share if you're tired of the double standard. Yeah, we are. But again, these long-winded articles, I mean, it's like really, nobody really cares. Get to the gist of it because this is all just, you know, on and on and on. They have gr good ideas, but they just go on and on with their articles. But again, uh, this is real in, uh, really an exciting uh, Halloween costume. Yeah, okay. This is m much more exciting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.